We're all really excited about it. We have a great group of young men. These guys play hard. They defend, they rebound. They have had a great example uh, to look at, obviously with Coach Valentine being here and also the players that we've had roll through here these last few years. The things that they do, they just know the right way to do things and it's because of the example that they've seen from the, the players that have gone through here the last several years and also uh, from Coach Valentine's guidance. Coach, uh, what do you like best about this team? I like how well they shoot. It would be really nice if there were more of them that were uh, about six, seven, six, eight. Um, that's, but, but, uh, but seriously, they, these guys play hard, they listen. Like I said, they, we've got some guys that can really shoot it. And, I, and, and although we're not real big from a height standpoint, we do have guys that, that can really rebound and defend. So I, I don't think uh, our lack of height will, will be a, a, as much of a factor as people might think. Who are some of your returning stars that uh, people should look out for? Well, we've had a lot of guys that have been really good for us, have played roles that have really helped the team that people may not know a lot about. I think as you look at three guys, probably the three guys that have, have the most experience coming back, Zeke Greer has played, uh, played a lot of games for us his sophomore year. He hit some big, big shots uh, for us in the region tournament. He's hit big shots uh, uh, then and last year. Chase Widmer has come in and really played hard for us and, and done a really good job these last couple of years. Our point guard, uh, Tanner Walton, who's a sophomore, uh, is already getting a lot of college looks, uh, does a really solid job handling the ball. Uh, he can, he's a guy that can finish. Aaron Abrahamson and Jacob Goins are, are two guys that people may not know a lot about. Aaron came in and made some big shots in the district tournament for us last year. Uh, but him and he and Jacob have been primarily JV players. Both of them play really hard do really good things for us. Uh, we've also got uh, Jeffrey Selby and Xavier Brown coming in uh, from, the, from the football field. Hopefully it'll be a while. Hopefully they've, they've got several more weeks of football. Those guys play extremely hard, uh, skilled guys, and they, they provide a lot of physicality for us and leadership. So we're looking forward uh, to those guys coming back. And then Aside from that, we've got a lot of, a lot of really, whether uh, we've got a couple of kids that have come in uh, as seniors, um, uh, got one from, from the Ivory Coast, um, Philippe and, and Jackson Broyles from Henry Clay uh, that have been really good additions for us. As well as, as you go down the line, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, we feel really good about our, our depth this year as well. Coach, for, for some of those folks out there that may not know a whole bunch about you, can you just give us a background on your coaching career? Uh, sure. I started way back in the late 90s at Lafayette High School uh, with Donnie Atkins, uh, which was a great learning experience for me. Also got a chance to work with Damon Kelly, who's now at West Jessman. Uh, th that was a, a great way to start um, as, a, as a high school basketball coach here in Kentucky. The year after I left, I actually won the state title. So I think teams like for me to leave so they can win state titles. Uh, from there, I joined, uh, joined up with, uh, got a teaching job over at Sayre and uh, got a chance to work with Gene Kirk over there. And he's one of the greatest um, coaches in, in this uh, state's history, in my opinion. So I got a chance to work with him uh, probably seven, eight years. He, uh, he left. And, um, and then I took over, I was the head coach there at Sayre for five, five years. Then I came over here to LCA uh, with Brad Carter. And he was, uh, that was a, a, another great experience working with him. Uh, Tommy Houston was here at the time. Again, one of those legends of high school basketball here in the state. The next year, Nate Valentine came in. So the, the, the next, I guess, six years, I worked with Nate here at LCA. I feel very fortunate the, 
to be able to be affiliated with guys, the men that I've been able to work with and for, and also the, the many, many players that I've had a chance to work with and just feel blessed because like I said at a parent meeting last night, none of us really know for sure how long we're gonna be able to do this, but just feel very fortunate to have an opportunity to, to coach here with such, uh, such great kids and the families here are phenomenal as well. And also to have a chance to work for an athletic director like Terry Johnson, uh, also feel very fortunate to be able to do that as well. Your team has won, you know, three district championships in a row, Coach. You, you guys kind of got the target on your back this season. Um, you know, obviously Catholic's a big game for you. Dunbar's going to be really good this year. Lafayette will probably be decent as well. Probably really good. Um, toughest district in the state. Um, what, what's it going to take for you guys to uh, compete in, in a tough district like the like the 43rd? Yeah, and I think you're right. And what I'm hoping is that these guys have learned along the way how hard they, they have to work and compete every night uh, when they play. And, you know, you, you, you talked about those teams and you, you throw Tate's Creek in there as well, who's going to be really good. So even at the, when we had our best teams here every night, it was a battle to, to try to win. And so those eight games are huge for us. And it's a, and, if you can win, uh, if you can win those, you feel like you can beat anybody and you can compete with anybody in the state. As well, aside from that as well, our all-A region is gonna be really tough this year. And so when you look at those eight district games and those three all-A region games, some, some years it's two, some, sometimes it's three, hopefully, hopefully two or three, that kind of, Maybe it's unfair, but that kind of dictates how our season is. If, if we can uh, be, do what we need to do in those games, and most people would say, yeah, yeah, pretty good year. And so that's, uh, that, that's a tall, would be a tall order for anyone. And so you can look at it as a negative, or you can look at it as, hey, you, every night we get to go against, against the best, and. Hopefully, you know, some, sometimes it's not going to be good enough, but hopefully if we do what we're supposed to do, we can, we can take care of what, what we need to take care of and be successful. Speaking of successful, Coach, what, what would be, in your opinion, what would be a successful season for, for you and LCA? I think it's easy to look at it from a one loss standpoint, and I think anyone who plays knows, okay, we want to go to the 11th region tournament. We want to go to the All-A State. We want to win games in those. We want to win the Central Bank Classic, what we host here. I think sometimes if we base our success on that, it can be difficult because when, there's such a fine, delicate line of winning sometimes. And we can, we can go back these last couple of years and see some games that, that we won at the, at that, going down to the wire or um, we had someone really get hot and we were able to win some of those games and and I think if we had lost those I don't think it would have diminished what those those guys did for us the last few years to me I think when you go through the season and you get into February and you have a group of guys that work hard they play for each other they have a positive attitude I think when you, when, when you see a group of teenagers that will sacrifice like that for a school, for each other, um, to me, I think that's successful. And I think it's easy for us to get caught up in those district titles and, and no doubt about it, it was awesome. But how those guys worked, how the example that they set for younger kids, the kind, the kind of people that they were, to me, that it was a successful run, and that's why we miss them. You know, we miss the quality uh, young men that we've had here the last year, two years, three years. Uh, it's been awesome, and I think if those guys that we have this year can can follow up with that, I think winning takes care of itself if you do those little things that the that our previous uh, our previous group did.